This video was brought to you in part by the supporters of the AMTV Patreon. Thank you. Hello there, folks, and welcome back to Weird Who. It's time to take a look at another strange and odd piece of Doctor Who-related media, and this time our exploits take us over to sunny Australia, where in the early 1980s, a series of commercials had the fourth Doctor and Romana trying to sell locals on the many advantages of the Prime Computer. Intrigued? I hope so, but before we get into it, please consider leaving a like and hitting that subscribe button. So, what's the deal with these adverts then? Prime computers were first established in 1972, and for many years were one of the most prolific and successful companies in the microcomputer business. As the 1980s began, Prime would go into their most profitable decade with a new line of advertising, specifically for the Australian market. Rather than have a technician mundanely explain the properties of Prime, a decision was made in which the BBC would allow the company to use actors Tom Baker and Lala Ward to play their roles of the Doctor and Romana in the commercials. Australia was no stranger to Doctor Who, and in fact was one of the territories that had been airing the show the longest, since around 1965 in fact. As such, many Australians were aware of the quirky time traveller and his many assistants, so including them in commercials was bound to drum up some positive audience response. But enough jabbering from me, what about the commercials themselves? Well, there were four of them produced and aired presumably between 1979 and 1980. Let's take a look at the first of these commercials, which will tentatively title the end of the universe. Doctor, the universe is about to end. What? We need the orbital coordinates of 900 planets of the constellation of Casturbaris in 17 seconds. 17 seconds? 16. Constellation of Casturbaris in how many seconds? 11. Good interaction so far, 900 planets. 10. Excellent response. Come on, Doctor. 900 planets in how many seconds? Three. Three seconds? One second, Doctor. One second. Well done, Prime. Prime computer. Not so loud. Prime computer. That's better. Taking all of that in? I hope so. This ad, and the others that we'll look at today, are just so wonderfully bizarre, how can you not love them? We see the Doctor enter what I can only describe as a discount police box, and into a stark white room, filled with only the banks of the Prime computer. Now, I know what you may be thinking, this isn't the TARDIS, where's the console? Where are the roundels on the wall? Where are the walls, as a matter of fact? Well, I'm not sure where these ads were filmed, but if they did go overseas to Australia to film them, that would explain the odd looking police box and the fact that there is no console. You would have thought maybe some attempt would have been made, but I suppose they wanted to make the Prime Computer the main focus. That is what the ad is about after all. Anyhow, Romana quickly informs the Doctor that the universe is about to end unless he calculates the orbital coordinates of 900 planets in under 20 seconds. Why does he need to do this specifically? We never know. But in a matter of a few keyboard taps, the Prime Computer has fixed the problem. How has it managed this feat? We never know, it's never explained. Very much in the Doctor Who vein of, I'll explain later. I understand that this quick paced ad is to demonstrate how fast the computing power of a Prime was, even back then, it was all about speed and capability. But it really does leave it vague into what it can actually do, at least from this ad. Also at the end, the Doctor gets Romana to say Prime Computer quietly. I'm not sure what the joke was behind this, and if I'm honest, it just comes off as a little weird but I would not be surprised if this was a Tom Baker ad-lib. He had a knack for them, especially by the end of the 70s. Hello, I am the Doctor. But now, let's move on to our second Prime ad today. And believe me, dear viewer, it's totally interactive. Do you like it? Do I like it? I love it. Is it really a prime computer? Do you know about them? Know about them? I've seen them on Gallifrey in the constellation of Casturbarus. Ha ha! At last, I'm up to date. Would you like to be introduced? Hmm? It's terribly interactive. Interactive? You mean immediate response? Immediate. Okay, prime. How long's my scarf? Well, it's not that impressive. What? In seven computer languages and five protocols. Protocols? Yes. That's how it talks to other computers. It talks to other computers? Well, of course it does. It's a prime. You're going to be all right, kid. Now tell me you don't want to splash out the cash for a prime. 
we once again see the Doctor enter the discount police box, and they don't have a console or roundels, but they manage to include the hat stand? The hat stand is a mainstay of the TARDIS, by the way, and I shall not be convinced otherwise. Nice touch, though. The Doctor is amazed to see that his ship now has a prime computer, allowing him to be I'm up to date. Ironic, considering out of all of the computers he could have installed from a variety of planets or times, he chose one from the early 1980s? One that has less memory capacity than your mobile phone. Details aside, we did get a nice little Gallifrey reference, where apparently the Doctor has seen primes? I've seen them on Gallifrey in the constellation of Casterberus. The Time Lords exclusively use prime computers? I guess they must. It couldn't possibly have been a random reference plucked out of nowhere, could it? <laughs> Romana then delivers the best line of the ad. It's terribly interactive. And perhaps it's the way it's shot, but they make this line sound like the most seductive proposal in the world, and trust me, it's been the subject of many a meme. After some banter from the computer, we get some tech talk about the various computer languages and the fact that it talks to other machines. How novel a concept is that, eh? It'll never catch on. To finish with, the computer delivers a surprisingly sassy remark to par off the Doctor. These guys have got to get along for seemingly hundreds of years, this isn't exactly the best start. Overall, I think this ad is a bit more fun than the last one. We get a few jokes pushed in, and we get the implication that the computer can think for itself and hold conversation just as a person would. And keep in mind, this is long before voice synthesizers became commonplace in computers. Also, this one goes some way to demonstrate what a Prime can actually do. In this case, the fact that it can give quick results to user queries. Still, I would like to see a little more practical demonstrations of a Prime, but perhaps we'll get that in our next advert, which actually has its own title. So settle yourself down for Doctor Who meets his match. Hi, I've just discovered I can increase the power of my Prime by five times in 111 seconds. Office automation! Revolution. Accounting, no more books. Around a planet, communications instantly. I can design ships, run power stations, oil, gas. Where would the energy industry be without Prime? Ask it how to handle a woman. Romana, will you mind? Yes. Oh, Prime. Clever Prime. You can say that again. Clever Prime. This one is very weird. First things first, the police box exterior already seems to exist in a white void, so do we have a Legopolis situation, with a TARDIS within a TARDIS? References aside, you first notice that the Doctor is wearing a completely different costume, the one he adorns for season 18, all burgundy, shades and glory, which means this ad must have aired in 1980 at the earliest. The first two saw Tom wearing one of the first variants of his costume, so I would argue those first two could have come at the tail end of 1979, especially with the emphasis of the opening tagline, Step into the 80s. This ad features no universe ending threat, or the Doctor being introduced to Prime for the first time, instead this one feels like some sort of weird fever dream. The Doctor is gushing of the machine, explaining how it can run power stations, oil, gas, basically it can run the entire energy industry and Tom's wide-eyed performance gives the impression that he's scheming an idea to take over the energy industry and run it for himself with the power of Prime. All the while, Romana is just… holding on to him? We never saw this kind of affection in the TV show, and yes, I'm well aware that Tom and Lala were in fact seeing each other and ended up getting married, but they aren't playing themselves here, they're playing their characters. But they are both Time Lords, and they do get on, so maybe that. whoa, hang on, do I really want to fuel the fanfiction canon? This affection is pushed again when Romana, rather out of the blue, asks the Doctor to query Prime on how to handle a woman, to which the computer responds instantly with, marry the girl, Doctor, and in a matter of seconds, it looks like we could have an intergalactic wedding on our hands. Clever Prime indeed. Clever Prime for probably kickstarting many four Romana shippers 40 years in the making, folks. But we're going to move away from the lovey-dovey now, as our final advert takes a bit more of a serious turn. So here I present to you, Doctor Who and the Aliens. Doctor Who? Yes. We know that you know the Supreme Computer. What? The name, Doctor. We need the name. Why should I tell you? Turn on your monitor, Doctor. What? Don't tell them anything, Doctor. Now, we know this is an incredible communicating system. It understands all industry standard languages and has a fantastic range of software solutions. We also know you can easily increase its power. And I know that you come from Lipragopolis. Very good, Doctor. No other computer could have done that. So now we know you have one. We believe it comes from Earth in the constellation of Sol. The name, Doctor. It's a prime! Prime!
same computer from the planet Earth. Just tell me why. We just want to buy one. <sighs> Doctor, who were those people? Oh, just some overexcited prime buyers. Like a mini sewed in itself, we hear some aliens claim they want the supreme computer and need the name of said machine. I find it hilarious how the Doctor covers the Prime symbol when it is literally on all the other terminals. As the Doctor turns on the monitor, we see Romana has been kidnapped and held hostage in the most cliché, B-movie fashion possible, tied to a chair with what looks like incredibly loose rope. As the Doctor feverishly types away, the aliens basically give the sales pitch for Prime, detailing many of its capabilities, which would have seemingly been very impressive at the time. Turns out, the aliens come from Liprogopolis, which sounds very similar to the fourth Doctor's swan song adventure, Logopolis. Liprogopolis. I fully believe they looked at one of the stories that went out or one of the scripts, changed and added a syllable, and boom, you have a brand new alien race. But alas, this knowledge gives the Doctor away, allowing the Liprogopolans to know that he has one of these supreme computers, to which the Time Lord exclaims, <laughs> Romana is then severely menaced by a feather duster and actually gives quite a blood-curdling scream. Honestly, the slight echo and reverb makes it sound genuinely terrifying. The name, Doctor! <laughs> the Doctor caves and reveals the Prime's identity. And when asking the Liprogopolans why they want to know, it turns out they just wanted to buy one. So then that begs the question, why on earth did they kidnap Romana, tie her up, and threaten her life with a feather duster? Why not just ask and be upfront? this makes no sense? Oh, just some overexcited prime buyers. Oh, they're just overexcited. Well, that explains everything. Silly Doctor Who. Overall, these ads are a wonderful little oddity in the plethora of Who-related commercials. Whilst they're obviously dated by today's standards, back in the early 80s, I'm sure the Prime Computer itself was seen as a very impressive machine for those who would have wanted it, and the addition of the Doctor and Romana would have only made the ads more memorable and probably more watchable. If you watch a lot of the old adverts for various bits of technology, they're obsessed with just talking specs. They aren't actually a lot of fun beyond that. The Prime Computer ads we've looked at today are insanely fun. They're corny, they're silly, they're very bizarre, when they want to be, but all of those factors have helped them still remain part of the fandom consciousness over 40 years later. And if you want to view them at your leisure, they are on YouTube, or if you have a copy of Destiny of the Daleks on DVD, you'll find them amongst the special features. Will we ever see the Doctor advertise state-of-the-art tech again? Time will tell. Always does. Thanks for watching. Prime Computer. Not so loud. Prime computer. That's better.